Okay, so today I would like to do a uh, quick lesson on how to play Cortez the Killer by Neil Young. Um, you don't need a lot of things uh, for playing the song, but there are some fundamental things that uh, without them you're not able to play the song. Firstly, you need a black leather jacket. You can do without. Secondly, sunglasses. You can watch them here. Indispensable. Thirdly, you could use a beard that is uh, two, three days old, preferably more. And uh, the fourth thing is uh, you need a really chagrin face like uh, only Neil Young can pull some. Uh, no, seriously. Um, there are some other things you could use to uh, be able to play this song the way Neil does. Uh, the most important thing, obviously, is a, a good acoustic guitar. This isn't particularly a very good one, but I uh, still like it very much because I have uh, modified a lot of things myself. It resembles um, a Gibson Hummingbird. It's a Japanese copy made somewhere in the 70s by a company named Seymour, which was a brand that resided under the name of uh, Ibanez, under the company of Ibanez. So, a good acoustic guitar or a uh, an acoustic guitar that you love and that you can put your uh, heart and soul into. Second thing, that you need uh, lots of feeling, lots of soul to play the songs like Mr. Soul himself. Uh, next thing for playing the acoustic version of Cortez the Killer. It, uh, it comes in handy to have a harmonica holder and I use a G blues harp harmonica. That's what it sounds like. So the harmonica is in the key of G. Then the tune very important, your guitar tuning has to be changed. He plays it in double drop D tuning, so it's your normal standard E tuning, but you change the pitch of uh, the first, of the low uh, E string and the high E string, you change both notes to a D. I've already done it, so uh, this is what it sounds like. You've got your nice big open D chord. He uses this tuning for uh, a lot of other songs like uh, Natural, uh, Natural Beauty. more on that maybe in, a, in another tutorial on the song itself. So, drop D tuning. The next thing that's so important for playing almost every Neil Young song acoustically that's having uh, the right technique. So you can play with a pick uh, or you can play with your hands, it's like, I think it's called claw hammer, it's like a claw hammer style, where you use your uh, nails of your right hand. Just a quick tip, if you play Neil Young songs with a pick, it has to be this one. It's a gold Herco, 
Marco Gold, Nylon Flex, Flex 50, made in USA. with the pick maybe another tutorial will follow on this song now we go back to Cortez the killer again so I was saying this one I'll play without a pick but for strumming technique I uh, play it with my uh, with my hands claw hammer stick one very important thing is uh, something I really love about the uh, acoustic sound of Neil Young that's when he tunes down to drop D or um, drop C tuning and if he hits the first string it makes a droning rattling buzzing sound normally so normally when a guitar has a good setup you won't hear any buzzing, any rattling on none of the strings. Not when they're fretted, not when they're open. Some guitarists though, uh, like Neil Young, I think uh, also David Gilmour uses this trick. And that is, they prefer, they sometimes prefer the rattling sound of an open string. Especially when it is in a down tuning. Sounds like this. You can you can hear it rattling against the frets. In order to do so, I modified this guitar. Um, I set it up with uh, almost, there's almost no relief. You can check the relief by pressing or by putting a capo on the first fret. Uh, pressing the 14th fret and uh, measuring the gap between uh, the string and the 7th fret. So here there's almost no relief and I, uh, I used sandpaper to enlarge, uh, to enlarge the The string gap, the string hole for the first uh, for the first string, the low E string. So then, when I'm in a down tuning, you have this effect. Another important thing to sing and play like Neil Young is uh, you have to have a good, very nice, eerie voice, unfortunately, which I don't have. So unfortunately, that's too bad, but uh, I'll still try it with my own voice. And finally, you need four chords and the truth, or no, exactly this song, three chords, three chords and a half and the truth. I don't know who said that, but it could be uh, it could be something that was invented to describe the the songs of uh, Hank Williams, the hillbilly Shakespeare. He wrote some brilliant, brilliant texts, uh, brilliant lyrics, and uh, put on some uh, three, four, two chord songs. Can it doesn't get any better than uh, Hank Williams? So here I'll uh, I'll explain the the three or the four chords in this song right now. So you have your E minor. I play like this. So you need your three fingers on the second fret of the first three strings. So I use my middle finger on the first second fret, first finger on the second second fret, and my ring finger on the second fret of the of the D string. Important 
very important in this song are the hammer ons on this first first uh, on this first chord i uh, i play hammer on on the first string second fret first string second chord is your d chord where you have that rattling sound it's like a normal d but you don't use your uh, middle finger very important here again a hammer on effect with the index finger that's on the second fret of the g string third chord is a a minor 7 or a, a minor 11 don't know uh, what you'd call this it's very simple it's like an a uh, it's like an a minor but you leave out your uh, your uh, ring finger so that one sounds like this here you can hammer on on the second fret of the D string and you can leave out the C note first fret of the B string Additional, additionally sometimes I play this A minor 7 chord or A minor 11 chord like this which is like open D open A 5th fret of the D string 5th fret of the G string 3rd fret of the B string and an open D so yeah very nice to have special effect are the harmonics you can play them on on the A minor 7 chord you can substitute it by this harmonic chord and the D chord you can substitute with the harmonics on the 7th fret so I use 5th fret harmonics and 7th fret harmonics could also use 12th 12 fret, 12 fret harmonics for the uh, E minor chord so let's begin to play Subjects get around it. 
and the truth and you go on forever and ever thanks for watching